We arrived at Schoolie Swarm in Melrose, Florida to do an interesting inverter and battery upgrade on an MCI MC9 bus, just like ours. There are buses of all shapes and sizes and everything from normal school buses to even double-decker coach buses, 45-foot coach buses, ambulances, and even a fire truck. This is our first trip to Schoolie Swarm, but hopefully not our last. All right, enough talk. Time to get to work. Well, here we are at uh, Schoolie Swarm, working on our first project for uh, somebody you may have seen on the internet, the hard to reach bus. Got Coco here. It's a little bit warmer than Iowa, isn't it? Or Minnesota right now, end of February. So here's what we got. A uh, nice AGM bank, very similar to what I had growing up. <laughs> what I had going on in my old bus. <clears throat> Looks pretty nice. Uh, but we're switching to lithium. We're gonna, we'll show you what's going on there here in a minute. <clears throat> uh, but all that stuff is coming out. What we got going in are two of the Multi Plus 3000s. We got uh, <clears throat> two of the uh, 250-100s and and then all the fixings to go with it. So that's what we got going on. So first thing we got to do is pull that out. But the challenge is they're still living in here. So we're going to have to pull it out and actually keep it functioning for as long as we can. So that's going to be fun. But I better get to work. It's already almost noon. Oh, you know what? Let's go take a look at the batteries. <clears throat> Amps. Here's Travis, he's the battery expert. He's in the thick of battle here. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do to get it done. That's what we're doing right now, is getting it done. So these are all the Valance batteries. Travis, what's your company again? He's the area solar. Right, and you're kind of a specialist in this, right? With specifically yeah. with the valance batteries. I make this rat's nest here. This is what I make. That's what, that's what it looks like on the front. All right. So if you got these batteries, and you need them to work right. This is what you need. And you got to get this for me. Sweet. Well, maybe we'll talk about a little bit more about that later. But <clears throat> both of us are getting to work here now. Well, he's been working farther, a lot more than I have so far. All right, we're going to get back at it. So we got the inverter and batteries pulled out here. Nice empty bay for some good fun stuff to go back into. So one of the nice things working on these bus conversions is that you got so much room for activities. But uh, I wanted to highlight something here. And I did already talk to the customer about this, but and actually he already knew about it. He was waiting to see if I'd find it. <laughs> sure enough, I did. Uh, that's a 500 amp fuse on two watt cable uh, that ain't gonna blow this is gonna happen before that blows I would say that should be 200 amp maybe 300 at the most uh, gotta be careful with this stuff so <clears throat> yeah over the next few days we plan the wiring and component layout on the board with a board as big as this and the components this heavy, we had to do it all in place, which was a challenge at times. During the event, people like to come by and watch and ask questions, and that's just fine. If we ever meet, I'll talk your ear off about this stuff. Coco was keeping everyone on task as usual. It wasn't all work, of course. We did get a chance to enjoy a bonfire with live music, and Millie found some mini donuts. Later in the week, we finally got the batteries installed and tested. Travis even got in on the action. And the sun is setting on Saturday at Schoolie Swarm. Started this project on a Monday, and uh, here it is. I would say this project definitely uh, exemplifies one that you gotta roll with the punches a little bit and adapt, and that's one of the reasons why it took so long, but I am really thrilled with how it came out here. <clears throat> And something that's a little interesting is we're using the Valance batteries. Probably seen those before on the internet. Um, 
worked with uh, this guy at Sirius Solar. He was actually here doing the install work as well. So if you want to work with bal valence batteries, check this guy out. He, as far as I'm aware, he knows the most about these batteries and actually built a BMS with a relay, a giant relay in there to control it all. But uh, that's his screen there. But the rest is all our work. We got two of the 250 by 100 solar chargers. Only one is currently used. The other one's going to be used for a trailer later. We got two 24 volt uh, 3000 multipluses in parallel in the 2x120 tw 120 mode. So the 50 amp shore connection here still works just fine. Uh, and, but most of the time when they're inverting, they just run 120 and that works for them just fine because all their loads are 120s. Uh, hopefully the lighting is good enough because check that out. Yeah, we got that lighting in here. Um, here's how we did the wiring here. I'm hoping you can see down here. We ended up using those aluminum splices on this one. Not any wire nuts or anything like that. And that worked out really well to do all the paralleling because we had to parallel the in and the out with 6.4 or 6.3 wire plus ground. And uh, that's why I've been using that three inch cable raceway that's been working out pretty well this is the monitor that uh, controls this BMS or is the monitor for this BMS box here got the servo here this is also something a little bit interesting is we use the Lynx power in and behind that cover is actually uh, we actually converted that to use fuses so we broke this battery bank up into two separate strings and each of those are fused. Now with the size of a project like this, honestly, we probably could have used a distributor and got the lights as well. But in the Lynx Power In, there's no circuit board, but you can convert it to use fuses. And honestly, if you're just looking for the bus bar and fusing, that is the way to go. It doesn't take much to convert it to that, just some M8 uh, bolts and nuts, pretty easy. And we didn't need to use any special cable here because we're using the Lynx Shunt. And of course, using a 600 amp disconnect there. Running these upside down, which I really like doing. When you run the, the, the distributor upside down, you can do this nice work here where your devices run straight into it. You don't got to do the loop around. And then uh, here's a shot of the batteries again. Did a full capacity test on it and it worked great. They were able to run their air conditioner all night. If you want something like this in your bus, ambulance, uh, ice fish house, work truck, RV, uh, food truck, off-grid cabin, house, whatever. Give us a call or uh, also give us a call. We can do it or we can sell you it and advise you on how to make it look like this. Check us out, sodasolar.com. And from all of us, Sean, that's me, JD down in Quartzsite making it happen. And Coco here. <laughs> Well, you've probably heard breathing away. It's a little hot here in Florida. We're a long way from Minnesota, but we're having fun. Oh, there she is.